Hello everybody and welcome back once again. You're watching episode 3 of my Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines uh, this series. And as you can see, we are where we left off at the beach house last time and we're about to go make some friends, so let's say hi. Help ya! Uh, I guess we're just gonna Darth Vader our way in. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. I don't understand why you don't have a shirt on, but okay. I'm sure your personality has nothing to do with you being out here, jerk. And... Well, let's try and talk our way through this. There's a few ways we can go about assaulting this house, but... We're just gonna talk. We're gonna have a little conversation with whoever's in charge. Ooh, what? I'm just saying, from the beach Which is a little excessive. Oh god. <coughs> Um, I'm sure this is going to make them happy. I didn't mean to do that. Whoa, someone just swing at me. What's wrong? Is that a dog? Is there being a dog? That's combat music. Do we just do something wrong? Hey, So tasty. It's nice for him to wait. To, uh, eat his friend. You want this? Come on, I got a tire iron too. All right, you guys want some of this? Come on. Purge. This is my weight loss plan. Hit him for zero. How do you hit somebody with a tire iron for no damage? All right. Oh, delicious. Give me your blood. That's not bad for our first firefight. Ooh, what a mess with me. Hey, where are you? Uh, you're mine. Now you're mine. No, wait. Now you're mine. <laughs> So much good blood in you. Delicious blood. My beautiful little juice back. Sorry. I'm uh, getting a little into this game. And now we've just disappeared. That's weird. Okay. So that was kind of glorious. And not at all what I had intended to happen. I can't seem to do anything right in this game. Uh, as I recall, there's a money in here. Oh, Money, 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 money. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Come on. All right, let's take a look around here. See if we can find some. Ooh, a baseball bat. I will take that. Wait, can I take that off? No, I can't. Car stereo. Always want some money. I guess they don't. I guess humans don't keep blood in their fridge. That'd be kind of weird. Hmm. Get all the bullets. Right. Wow, that was exciting. Now we're gonna get the hell out of here. Oop, uh, and loading screen. High intimidate feet will give you special dialogue options. This will be displayed in green text. Certain characters are more easily intimidated than others. Small children, for instance. Unfortunately, there's none in this game, so we can't terrorize them. Oh god! Sad, I know. Right. Let's go in there. Look at the ocean. 
I used to love swimming out into her at the crack of dawn. Mm, I wouldn't recommend that now. <laughs> I wouldn't try that again. Sticking up to me. Yeah, so we didn't do too bad there just now. Although I should be using guns, shouldn't I? Since that's sort of our main weapon or mode of attack that I put all the points into. Come on. Eee. Hello there, coppers. Don't mind me. I'm just terrifying on dead east. Hello, Adam. Mm -hmm. All right, we just passed this house. <laughs> Still a big blood stain outside. I don't think it actually ever gets cleaned up, and people just walk by it like, oh yeah, no problem. Blood stains. Hazard or anything? Did you die on me again? Uh, Stop that! Damn right, yeah. the astrolite back. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Of course I did. Good. I intended Great. to do that the Hope whole time, paid. right? Did you get yeah. my money back? <laughs> Hell's no. Damn. No, sorry. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. Yeah, two hundred fifty dollars. That'll get you real far. That astrolite, hmm. twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Interesting. What's a Sabbat? We know what a Sabbat is. Don't be silly. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there. Get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh. Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. That's a weird name. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Oh, great. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue. Ah, yes, to Therese waxed, Foreman. So this is going to be interesting. Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Am I now? Oh, shit. What do you know She's about the Therese? woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Mm -hmm. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. Yeah. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Something about blood before. Rumors, eh? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. Really? But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, this is a hard criminal is, who's afraid to I say sex. A wild girl. <laughs> right. Interesting. Goodbye. Useless. Hmm. If we can. I don't know. Let's log. Well, let's go collect our $75 that we extorted from Hermes. I can only assume that the guy we told to wait down here got mugged or killed or something when dragged off to the sewers to some horrible end. Seduction, feet, and dialogue. To feed and otherwise get what you want from people. Move bed! Yes, I am Mr. Move bed. Pleasure to meet you.
Um, so I guess we should go and talk to Three's foreman. Huh? Fun. Even bullets with my defense feet. How do we? Oh yeah, there it is. Eight experience. Ugh, one masquerade violation. That's not good. Hmm, what do we want to raise? Charisma? Uh, I really want to spend six on that? No, no I don't. Uh, let's try and balance this out. Security. Hmm. Blood shield. that we'll put two into f no do you want to do that yeah sure why not firearms yay guns mm, if I recall yeah there's the asylum slowly coming into view in this haze coming from an undead monster. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Mmm, uh -huh. you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Yes. Do you want to hit on her? <laughs> Leave me alone. Sure, well, that's why not so <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Alright, fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bound to be things. That was creepy. That's what I was thinking. What's your name? I'm the finger Maybe down your ask. spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. Me. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. You horrible self is the Do you have a name? Oh, I see what's his. You got a name I can remember you by. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny DMs all night, sweetheart, but I really miss trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Uh-huh. Soon can't come soon enough, right? Go away now. That weather, nice, nice weather it is, right? Really? Oh, I recognize you. Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. Uh huh. Oh man, not good. That's why I'm waiting to talk to him. Oh man, his name's Bertram Tone. He's a Nostradamus. I mean, he just appears. What did you need to tell him? We'll go with that. Oh, man. Well, Bertram would have eaten an 
eye on this guy. This Asian dude has been coming around Santa Monica. But some thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Something like a vampire. Interesting. Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like off in the distance watching me walk up next to me. Oh man, and You're completely incompetent. It's freaking me out! I know this thing is totally toying with me. I want to put a bullet in its head, but who knows if that'll do anything. So I was waiting till I talk to church or something. Uh-huh. I don't know where he is. It's messed up! Want me to take care of it? Are all ghouls just good at it? Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire. I think we're being manipulated. Only two I got is this driver's license that he caught once while I was taking it. He's so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Driver's license? No. The picture on the license is in him. I don't know why he had it, but he's lying. I think somebody is. What are you doing? Here. Right on! Let's go back and let the new job be done so I can stop the picture from out. Uh huh. Maybe. All right. See ya. There's a juice bar down the street. They serve the fruits over there. You're a funny guy. You'd be the first stand up comedian I've knocked down. Calm down, Ace. This isn't that kind of establishment. You get out of line again, I'll personally introduce your ass to the sidewalk. Now, what do you need? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? None of your business. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I hear that from everyone, pal. She expected you or something. That's it. She's right, expecting I'll me. I'll cut your break because we're busy here. I'll bust her. He's telling her coming. Take the elevator over there, Ellen. But if I get it, you're not supposed to be there. You and me are going to have to fight to fight for the air. And I will eat your heart. So, yeah, that could be fun. Also, yeah, I'm super busy. All the people lined up the bars. Not stuck up bitch. Something to steal. Oh, God. I can't even Cold look brain. at you sometimes. Carnival of death. Oh. Why do I keep doing you that? You really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century bar. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted house concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin. You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck up here as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jimmy. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Oh, dear. We come at a bad time. Why, hello there. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Mm-hmm. If you say so, I guess that means... Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Dominate, yes. <laughs> You're new to this, aren't you? Were you trying to dominate me just now? No. That was so stupid, it was almost cute. Unless you're into that kind almost. of thing. Almost. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. Uh-huh. 
Your phobias don't concern hmm. me. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Oh my god, this part. A spirit? You mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. <laughs> Don't have time for this Halloween bullshit. What do I Rumor do is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Certainly. I'll do oh, it. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. I'm sure you're so long different. as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. <laughs> business? Is that what it's called when a dog fetches a Before stick? Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Sure you do. Goodbye. Hmm. What if we can... She probably wouldn't appreciate that very much. Hacking on the computer right in front of her. So, I remember this, uh, this hotel part is probably one of the scariest things in any game ever. So, yeah. We're gonna do that. Gained by completing quests. Well, I kind of feel stupid for putting points into bullets just before we go and do this. Um, you can find some sweeps. Zoom. I all rotten and the storm is our death sentence! Alright. Just get go this way where you aren't. Hmm. Isn't there one here? Ah, uh, yes. Don't go into the light. We went into the light. That's not what I expected. Um. Ooh, rats. Hey, you. Come here. Just want to talk. Oh. Light. Oh. Some scene of a grizzly murder that took place down here. Nothing to do with us, I'm sure. Door, like a great door down here that we can pour. We're really bad at this whole funny. Funny our way to anything. Uh, that looks like a great door. Oh, yes. Powerful servitors often cultivate ghouls. Yep, that is something that they do. Uh, let's see. Let's do a little bit of investigation before we go in. We would probably need a helmet in there from what I remember. Why did gonna have to save for an episode for another day so because uh it's really cool inside and i want to save it for an episode like i want to make an entire episode out of it so i hope you guys enjoyed this we uh 
we did we did actually accomplish something in this episode so i hope you guys enjoyed it and that i'll see you back here for episode three well wait no this is episode three what's wrong with me episode four hey all right i'll see you guys bye